So let's get into this tea. We about to get into Clarence called out for force proposal. The Queen Naja, Funny Mike and Jalea officially done. Let's get it. Mike and Jalea may have broken up for good this time. Now, Funny Mike has been posting videos and photos of his new penthouse. Now, not only did he rent out a penthouse, he also already started to do custom murals on the wall and bring in all of his decor. Day one penthouse. Day. That don't mean y'all broke up. That's so crazy that people think that. Nigga. Sometimes uh, you need somewhere to work. Like we get into it. I work in a house. It just uproots the whole house. And I hate that shit. That's why I try to get an office. Office? I can't even like be loud in the office. Y'all know what I just went through with the office. So it's crazy what people think when you're trying to just work in peace. I just... I never understand that. Decorate. All right, check it out, man. You know. Hey, we got the chrome hard up. See, you see the pillars. You can paint a rental long as you have it painted back. By the time you get up out of there, you can paint it, especially if it's in the um, like in your rental agreement. However, ain't no way in the fuck I'm paying ten thousand dollars a month or more, and I can't paint on the wall. Got me fucked up. <laughs> ten thousand or more is crazy. When I moved in here, she was like, uh, don't put no holes in the walls. I'm like, okay. So from now on, I'm going to be asking way more questions when I'm renting something. Because what the fuck you mean? What'd you say? And that ain't nothing but spray. You, got you can spray white right over that. <laughs> hey, stand right there. Show them how tall it is. Oh, you got that money bag, huh? Tell you what, drop it on your head. <laughs> Hey, but yeah, man, day one. That's your biggest hell. Ten house decorating, man. This just, this, this, this day one. Talk, you think man. I should just like everything else empty? Now it's definitely giving bachelor pad vibe. So it appears that he may have moved out of the home that he shared with Jalea. Now Jalea went on to Twitter and stated. I truly can't believe this ish, but then again, I can. Now, Funny Mike and Jalea aren't new to this whole breaking up thing. You know, in the past, they were breaking up and getting back together a lot, but it seemed to calm down for a little bit after they had the third child, but seems like things still aren't working out. But let's move on to this next topic with Corey. Now, you guys know Corey is dating Big Bake Danny, and a lot of people want to know what exactly does Danny see in Corey? After all of the things that have been popping off on the internet about him, they're wondering why is Danny actually giving Corey a shot? Now this was Danny's response. Yeah, my man Clazy, his Clazy, his Clazy looks so much better than mine. I swear. Like you ought to see his Clazy. I think we watched this. The condo, the Clazy <sighs> the condo is so fucking full. Then he brings 20 bags of shoes over here. Yeah. His closet really look better than mine. And I'm I'm really hating on him. I can't wait to get mad at him and throw all these shoes down and throw all these clothes down and all that kind of stuff. But yo, he is a real neat freak. Like, and y'all tell my song why I love Corey. Like Corey is the type of guy, he's a man man. He helps around the house. He gon' like he gonna do a lot of stuff. Like I can just be doing my my work all day. He gon' he gonna do what he gotta do. You can say he a country nigga. He's from where I'm from, almost. So I'm from Mississippi. He's from Alabama. So he's a real man, man. He's gonna make sure either he gonna cut the grass or the lawn service. He gonna contact them to come cut the grass. Either he gonna wash the cars or he gonna call somebody over to wash the cars. Like he gonna wash out the garbage can. He gonna make sure my closet is together. Gonna make sure his closet is together. He gonna back. Um. I'm going to say this. Every time I see Corey live, he do be doing a lot of cleaning and shit. <laughs> and I feel like, y'all remember when we was watching him with Maddie? He was help taking her hair out. He's always walking around moving some shit. Like, always walking fast past a camera <laughs> doing some shit. So, I kind of believe it. Um, but to be honest, him messing with a millionaire woman, multi-millionaire woman, yeah, I be doing the same shit. <laughs> what you mean? 
You need your uh, shoes spit shine. <laughs> I got you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Of course. It's called love bombing. <laughs> Guess who taught us what love bombing was? Regina Carter. Okay. We was like, what the fuck is a love bombing? I'm over here like, Ugh. what the hell is love bombing? <laughs> but yeah. Somebody would come in your life, boy, acting like something is just not what it really is later on down the line. But he does give me walk in and out the camera all the time doing something. He always doing some shit. So he probably he probably really just like that. Vacuum. He gonna he he's gonna do anything that he can. <clears throat> I think it's a mixture of both. My day much easier. So hey, if you ask me, I think she needed a good old assistant. And I think that he needed a good old place to live, especially if it's in a mansion. You know what I'm saying? Fuck okay. it. It's a mansion. Why not? So, you know, it's either, with them, it's either like fate, like fate brought them together, or like it was convenient to do what it is that they're doing. So, Yeah, but enough of these how y'all. I posted my tax class yesterday. The, the tax class, it was two ninety seven for a month and a half, yeah. On live, people were asking him, you know, what's up with you and Corey? And Zoe stated that he's no longer cool with Corey, which is very surprising. Why Corey mad at you? Corey? <laughs> and girl, I'm not worried about Corey no more. Corey and I, we are no longer friends. So let's just not talk about me and Corey because yeah, Corey is just, I just don't like him anymore. You know, sometimes you can be in a man's corner and help him out and love him and give him your all. And then he just goes and gives it all to somebody else, you know? <laughs> so I just, I say fuck it. <clears throat> I say, fuck it. They I wake up, up yeah. I text him good morning. I say, how are you doing? He texts me good morning. Then he goes and he spends his day with a girl who rents out of a mansion. You know? I don't know. <laughs> who does that? <laughs> I just don't understand Corey Yo, anymore. I thought we were stop. better than that. But... Stop. Hey. What is that on his fucking face? What is that? You're big on Corey. So now Clarence recently posted <laughs> up a photo on Snapchat Yo, with stop. Queen holding a bride to be signed. Now, a couple of days ago, Queen posted a photo in a hat <clears throat> that stated bride to be. Now she's holding up the sign and Clarence is posting it. So now, of course, this had all of the blogs <laughs> talking because everyone wanted to know if Clarence actually proposed to queen on that trip to mexico now although i think they're both just trolling but it could be true i mean he could have proposed <sighs> and just not telling anyone but people are <laughs> taking this as clarence is being forced to marry queen the comments in the shade room were saying things like not y'all bullied him into proposing and another one states i don't think it's genuine we bullied him to proposing another person says I hope they didn't let the internet bully them into marriage. Other people were saying things like, it's giving here, damn, I don't love this for my girl. <laughs> Another person states, I wouldn't want the ring after that, to be honest. Another one states, here, damn, as ring. So now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. At this point, <clears throat> Clarence cannot do any right here. If he doesn't propose, everyone is going to be asking him, when is he going to propose? And if he does propose, then people are going to be just stating, you just proposed because we're all asking you to propose. So what does Clarence actually do here? Now at this point, even <clears throat> if he was going to propose to Queen Sil <laughs> Y'all question that guy who said um Danny was um uh scammed him or Danny has scammed him. Can y'all send me his TikTok? He's probably not anymore. Kia, one of y'all should have it. 
after he's probably going to wait till all of this dies down and then he's going to pop the question. But even then I'm thinking he's going to be getting hate from it because people are going to be like, wow, it took you that long to propose. Send me the so link, at Chrissy. this point, I'm hoping Clarence is just doing what's best for them and proposing whenever he's ready, whether that's next month, next week or whenever, and just forgetting about what the internet is going to have to say about all this. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Yeah. My orders of cookies and cream too, right? Did you like your cookies and cream? Um, yeah, after this. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, you? Did you like one cookies and cream? Mama, Did you want like cookies and cream? <laughs> Did you want cookies and cream? <laughs> he didn't make that look good at no, I'm all. I'm laughing at Jose. <laughs> My cookies came in the hood. They got the, you know, the cookies. <laughs> that wasn't your expectation. No. He thought he was going to come. I ain't going to lie. That didn't look good at all, y'all. I'm talking about at all. All right. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.